What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to simply be answering a question from one of my top, top subscribers on YouTube. Shout out to Barris. I call him BK. Um, shout out to him for asking the question of a traffic ad, a Facebook traffic ad, like why run a, tra a Facebook traffic ad, how to run a, tra a Facebook traffic ad, and, and really what's the purpose of, of all these damn different ads that you can run within, within the Facebook ads manager. I'm going to kind of touch on that today, you guys. So if you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. Um, I drop a lot of a lot of content over here on YouTube on Facebook advertising and and really building my social media agency. I've been doing that um, successfully since 2017, um, teaching online entrepreneurs, teaching real estate agents how to run Facebook ads and market themselves on social media. So if you're new to the channel, if you see any value, if you find any freaking knowledge out of this damn video today subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Shout out to Barris. Thank you for, for asking the question and, and, and really allowing me to, to put out this explanation and create some content around it. So if you guys are new, stick around. I got a lot more, lot more on the way. So let me kind of, let me, sh let me share my screen and, and show you what we're, what we're, what we're up against here. You guys give me one second. Perfect. So BK, shout out to Barris. I appreciate you, man. He put fantastic, bro. I would like to see how you do traffic FB ads. Okay, so let me kind of just explain this real quick, you guys, as well, um, on why most don't run traffic ads. Um, rookies probably do, you know, people that are that are just getting started, maybe, but I'm going to kind of kind of shed some light on, on the differences and, and why, um, depending on your objective, depending on your goal, why that may not be the best um objective for you so here's here's really the bottom line as you come to the ads manager right as you're in this back end back end part of, of facebook you come in here you click that green button and this gives you all the different objectives right all the different objectives some of your accounts look like this some may look like the old version um, but this is the updated version so this is this is kind of how it looks now but depending on your objective right there's really in my professional opinion, I've been running Facebook ads for clients, for myself since 2017, um, all day, every day. It's all I, it's all I do. So I kind of broken down this to a, to a science and, and I don't know at all. I continue to freaking learn. Right. But at the same time, I, I damn near understand most of it. And here's really the bottom line. If you're running ads, you're really doing it for, for three main objectives. Either you have an online store and you're driving traffic to that store to make a sell. The objective is to make a sell, right? Or you're in the client services business where you're actually servicing clients, right? Not customers, online purchasing e-commerce. That's more of a customer. But the client services business is when you're dealing with clients. You're an insurance agent, you're a real estate agent, you're a doctor, you're a freaking um, um, a plumber, you're a landscaper, you have clients, right? So that's when you're dealing with clients. And if you're running ads and you're in, in, in that space at all, your objective, I'm willing to, I'm, I'm assuming and, and I'm willing to bet that your objective is to capture a lead, right? The third objective would be also someone that's in the client services business. And that would be someone running ads to get an appointment. So those, those are really the three main objectives on why anybody would even run an ad, whether it's Facebook, Google, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever. It's really those three. Make a sell, get a lead, or get someone to schedule an appointment. Straight from an ad, you get them to schedule an appointment. Those are the three main objectives, okay? So when it comes down to over here, you have these, you have these six different objectives, awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, app promotion, sales, right? So again, depending on what you're looking for, if it's one of the three, then you're going for sure, you're going leads and, and, and you're going conversions. This is where, this is where you'll see the actual conversion. So if I come in here and click continue, It'll bring me into, into, into the actual setup. And if I go in here, if you're in real estate, you got to always go with housing, right? Always go with housing. Um, now, this is a new account. So let me see if I even have a conversion event set up. But um, in fact, let me go back real quick. If you're, It's not just real estate, but if you're in any of these other categories, right? If you're uh, offering credit cards, auto loans, or anything financing, yeah, you got to go credit, employment, housing. Um, if you're in politics and any, any of that, 
you know, stuff going on, then you got to go social issues. So depending on your niche, yeah, for sure. Choose this one. Um, I'm using the real estate one as an example. You would go housing and then you'd go next. Okay. So as you come to the second, the second um, 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 step, which is what I call the ad set level, this second level, this is where you can now go website and then you would go conversion event. This is where your custom conversion would go. Okay. Now I have a video. I'll link a video in the description that, that, that will show you and walk you through how to set up a custom conversion. You have to set up a custom conversion before you actually go this route. Okay. So again, in this case, what I'm going here, what I'm doing here is I'd be going website in order to make a sale capture lead or get someone to schedule an appointment it would be this okay it would be it would be lead it would be website i would come down here and i would go conversion event okay now depend on how you set up your pixel depend on how you set up your conversion event you can also go here lead you know you can choose one of the default ones that that facebook already has in place but what i like to do and how and the way i was i was taught was to set up a custom conversion. So again, watch the video in the description. Um, that will show you how to, how to set this up. Set the custom conversion up first, and then you can come over here and run this type of an, of, of an objective. But here, when you, see your, when you set up your custom conversion, you'll see your custom conversion here in the dropdown. And then you would choose that event and then, and then go from there, right? Follow the, follow the prompts and just go, go budget, set your calendar if you're setting a calendar. The, the location, the age, the gender, all that stuff, right? You would simply go through and set up the ad around lead and around conversion event, okay? Now, that's for that's for that. That's for sell, lead, or, or, or schedule an appointment. Now, these other conversion events, so as I come back over here, awareness, it's really what it is. It's brand awareness. And, and, and what I'm going to show you next, as I explain awareness, traffic, engagement, app promotion, sales. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're in e-commerce, then you could, you could definitely go sales as well. Um, but around the sales, it's also custom conversion. So if I go sales and then I come over here, um, let's go special ad category. Let's skip that part, the drop down, and we'll just come straight over here. Over here under sales, I would also go website and I would go custom conversion. I'd go conversion event and I would find my custom conversion. The custom conversion, you guys, is based on the thank you page. So in this case, if I was running ads for um, to make sales for some type of online website, as I go to as I go, as I click on your freaking, let's say you were selling iPhone cases, right? Or cell phone cases or whatever. As I click on that ad. I go to your webpage. Let's say it's a Shopify website. I go to your website. I click on the product. I enter my credit card information. I click purchase now. The next page that I land on, thank you for your purchase. Your order is now being shipped. That thank you page, that link is the custom conversion. That's the conversion event. So in this case, you can do it under sales and, 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 and you're still running a conversion ad right? A conversion around that thank you page. That's telling Facebook that the most important page right here, when you go conversion event and you choose your custom conversion, this is telling Facebook about the most important page of it all, right? You would think that as you're scaling through the, through the, through the newsfeed and you're just coming across an ad, here's a sponsored ad. You would think that the number one objective um, with this ad is to get people to click and come over here. It's actually not, right? This is not the number one objective. The number one objective is to get them to click the button, enter the form. Watch, let me just fill this out just for the heck of it. The number one objective is to get someone to fill out the form and land on the second page. Now, this could have been, again, my iPhone example. I could have clicked, put in my credit card information, purchase now, I then land on this second page. This second page is her custom conversion, right? It's the, it's, the, it's the thank you page. That link you would set up as a custom conversion. So again, there's a link in the description that will show you how to set up a custom conversion. So in this case, sales, let's go back. Um, we went in that case, we went under, we went under sales. 
let's uncheck these real quick. Um, and then let's click this green button again. So in this case, I went sells, but it's still based on that custom conversion. Leads based on that custom conversion, okay? Now, the only reason why you would run any other ad, awareness, traffic, shot to Barris, that's what we're talking about here is this traffic campaign, um, engagement, app promotions. The only reason why you would run any of these other ones is to create a custom audience. That's it. So if I go traffic, according to what Barris is asking, right, run a traffic ad. If I go traffic, what you need for sure is a landing page. And you need to make sure that that landing page has its proper Facebook pixel, right? So if I was running a traffic ad, the only objective, let's say, for example, I'm running a traffic ad to this page right here, okay? This is a simple page that I run traffic to real estate agents, you know, to get them to download my book, right? Um, so if you're not a real estate agent, don't even bother to download this. It's just a waste of time. You have to be a real estate agent to, to get any of this information or get any of this to make to make any of this knowledge make sense in this damn book, right? So don't just hack it for the hell of it. Um, so if I was running a traffic ad to this page, right? Again, I'm not in the business of just running random ads. I'm in the business of either making a sell, capturing a lead, or get an appointment. Okay, so I would not be running traffic I would not be running um, um, brand awareness. I wouldn't be running um, any of that other stuff. Let's go back. Awareness, traffic, engagement, app, app promotion. I wouldn't be running any of this because, again, my objective is one of the three, right? And so if I was driving traffic to this page, my objective is to capture the lead, right? Get them to fill out the form and land on the second page. That is my number one objective of spending money on a Facebook ad. That is it, right? So if I wasn't doing that, right, the only reason why I would run traffic or any of these other ones is to capture a custom audience. That's it. So when you go into traffic and you set that ad up, you're simply telling Facebook that you're looking for traffic. You're not looking for a lead. You're not looking for a sell. You're not looking for anyone to schedule an appointment. You are just looking for traffic. So what does that look like? What does that mean? That means Facebook will, 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 will go out there and start to look for people who are likely to click. That's it. So this guy right here, sponsored ad. There's the text. There's the video. There's the learn more button. If he was running a traffic ad, he's looking for people or Facebook's looking for him, um, for people who are simply going to click. That's it. That's traffic, right? That's why I don't burn my money on that type of a campaign because I'm not looking for traffic. I'm looking for a conversion, right? I'm looking for someone to click that red button and enter their information. That is a conversion, right? That's a different ad. That is not traffic. So if I was running traffic, the only reason why I would do it, again, is to set up a custom audience. So this guy right here, I can tell at the top, I have this little Facebook pixel helper. And if you guys don't have this little thing installed here at the top, all you got to do is go to Google and just do a Google search for Facebook pixel helper. And all this is, is a plugin that sits right here at the top. And when you're on a website that does not have a Facebook pixel, this thing is great. There's nothing there, right? There's nothing there. If I land on a website that actually has their pixel on it, then it will light up blue and green. And it will let me know, hey, this guy's pixeling you, right? Now, me personally, I don't have the pixel on there so I can know who the hell's pixeling me. I don't give a damn who's pixeling me. We're all being pixeled nowadays. We're all on camera nowadays. It's like, shit, there's no privacy no more, right? So I don't give a shit about none of that. I have the Facebook pixel so I can test my stuff and make sure the pixel is working on my stuff. And that's the only reason why I have it. But here I can clearly see that this guy has his pixel. In fact, he has two different pixels. So if this guy was running a traffic ad, here's what would be going on. His pixel is tracking the data. And then he would have this link at the top. He would have this link set up in Facebook as a custom audience. That's the only reason why you would ever run a traffic ad is to get thousands and thousands of people to the page so you can then capture the audience and retarget them in the future with a conversion ad. 
okay, with a lead ad. And so a lot of times when, 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 when people or, or companies have bigger budgets, then they'll, they'll play around with these other objectives. They'll run awareness, they'll run traffic, they'll run engagement. Um, and it's only to set up the custom audience. You'll need a bigger budget, right? The reason why these, that, these guys that have bigger budgets, they do that is so they can warm up their audience. Now, some of us that don't have huge budgets and we need a damn sell right now, you go straight into, into leads and you run a conversion ad. Or, or if you're in e-commerce, go sales and run a conversion ad. Get straight to the money. Get straight to the point. We don't have a big budget to play around with, with traffic and, and create these custom audiences. You'll create custom audiences as you run lead ads, as you run sales ads. You'll create custom audiences with all that as well. Um, because even though I'm going for the lead, even though I'm going for the sell, even though I'm going for the appointment, okay, I'm running leads, I'm getting people to the page, there's still going to be X amount of people that don't download it, right? There's still going to be X amount of people that don't opt in to watch your webinar, right? So those people that are landing here and not proceeding by pressing the button, okay, cool. I'm able to track it. I got my pixel on that page, right? I got my pixel right here at the top. I got a couple pixels, and then I have this link at the top set up as a custom audience. So I'm still able to track the, or still able to capture the data, still able to capture the audience by running the the, the proper ad, which would be which would be lead or sales. Okay, so we're still able to capture the audience, but again, some that just have bigger budgets. They like to warm up the audience. They like to create rapport. They like to, they like to brand themselves a little bit more because they have the budget. Again, at the end, all they're doing is creating custom audiences to then retarget with leads or sales. So in my opinion, Barris, I wouldn't be messing around with traffic unless you have a crazy budget. Cool. Run traffic, get a shitload of people to your landing page capture the audience and then retarget them with 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 lead ads in the future okay so um um regardless of what you're doing though for sure you need landing pages that's that's for sure a traffic you're driving the traffic to a click right so in my case i use kartra um there's a 14 day trial in the description kartra is my landing pages i use it for my landing pages i use it for my email automation and i use it for my online calendar okay so as i capture leads online um that lead comes in, it hits my landing page, that lead comes in, it hits my email automation, and then that lead comes in, hits my calendar to schedule a call. Those three tools are all in one software. So there's a link in the description, set up a 14 day trial, I'll give you all my time for free and help you set it all up. Um, so there's a huge incentive for, for a lot of you guys. Activate a 14 day trial, you'll get an email with, with from me with my calendar, schedule a call and I'll hop on with you and help you crush the shit out of this, okay? Um, so hopefully that makes sense, you guys. Hopefully that makes sense. There, there's really no reason to be running a traffic ad unless you really have a huge budget. Um, and if you do, make sure you have a, a, good, a good landing page that you, can, that you can set up your pixels on it. The link is set up as a custom audience, and then and then therefore you're able to retarget that audience in the future. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Makes sense to you guys. I hope that makes sense, Barris. Um, landing pages link is in the description. I'll also link in the description a, a video that I did on how to set up a custom audience. So you'll see two bit two special links in the in the description. One how to set up a custom conversion, and then one how to set up a custom audience. And then of course, the third one, you'll see a link for a 14 day trial to the software that I use to capture leads online and make money. So shout out to Barris, shout out to all you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. I put out Facebook ad tutorials like this all the time, every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific. Um, so drop me a comment below. Let me know any way I can help you guys. If you guys are new to online marketing, if you're new to building your business on the internet, internet, let me help you. I also provided a link in the description, fbadscheatsheet.com. That's a simple PDF that explains these different custom audiences. It explains these different custom conversions and it helps you set them all up. So um, that's a free download here in the, in the description, you guys. So stay in touch. Let me know if this makes sense. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, hit me in the, in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over now.